In this video, I'm going to talk, be talking about runger cutter methods. Okay, so runger cutter methods, these are perhaps the most popular methods for solving ordinary differential equations. Okay, so runger cutter methods, often known as RK methods for short. Okay, so these are involved, uh, or these are interested in solving the ordinary differential equation uh, y dash equals f of t y. Now, y dash is the derivative of a function y f is a function of the single variable t and y is a function of t. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just write down the, what's called the general form of a runge cutter method, which is y n plus 1 equals y n plus h times the sum of i equals 1 to s of b i k i. Okay, so y n, this is the uh, current known solution for y. Um, yn plus 1 is some solution at a small step h forward um, along the uh, in the t domain. bi, well these are just coefficients and ki are what's called stage values and the ki, these depend upon the ODE function we're solving. So this f of ty, ki is defined in terms of that. So we have f of Tn, which is the current value for T, um, so Yn is a solution at Tn, and to this we add on uh, some multiple of the step length h, so the multiple is, is Ci, and instead of Y in this function we have Yn plus h times another sum, j equals 1 to s, of a coefficient Aij times Kj. So these are what's known as stage values. Okay, so the s in the um, summations. Okay, so the, this s here and this s here. This is the number of stages we have. Now the number of stages will depend upon um, your accuracy of your method um, usually. So what if we had uh, two stages? So I'm going to write down these equations for two stages. So we have y n plus one equals yn plus h and so the summation i goes from 1 to 2 so we'll have b1k1 plus b2k2 okay um, and the stage values uh, change the color just to, we'll have two stage values k1 so this will be f of tn plus c1h so that ci there will become c1 and we have y n plus h times a one one k one plus a one two k two, and so that's the first stage value. The second stage value is similar, except for where we have an i subscript, we've got a two instead of a one. Okay, so those are our two stage values. So this is a um, the the values of b, b1 and b2, c1 and c2. So I just uh, so if I just underline. So the values of b1 and b2, c1 and c2, and our a values here. These are what define or what specify what our runge cutter method is. Um, it's quite common. Uh, another way in which we could write down a runge cutter method is in, in the form of a table. So what we have is this table with four sort of regions and the bottom right region I'm going to put the B values. So here we've got two stages so I've got two B values. Um, in the top left region I'm going to put our C values and in the top right region I'm going to write down the A values. Okay so this is a this is what's known as a butcher tableau. So this is after the uh, mathematician John Butcher. Uh, it's just an easier way or a quicker way of which we can specify the runge cutter method without writing out um, all, the, all of the equations. Now, one thing I want to just point out about what I've got here is if we look at the uh, expression for K1, we have a K1 on the left, so obviously this is the subject to the equation. We also have a k1 appearing on the right. Okay, so if we wanted to calculate what k1 is, 
it depends upon itself and the same applies to K2 so you can see here we've got an expression on the right so these are what's known as implicit uh, equations so a, a um, runge cutter method of this form is known as an implicit runge cutter method So this is an implicit runge cutter method and this is often known as an IRK method for short. Now implicit runge cutter methods, uh, because we have these implicit relations, they are actually a um, bit more complicated to solve uh, than the other type of method which is an explicit runge cutter method. If we're presented with a butcher tableau as we are here, we could easily tell whether we have an implicit runge cutter method because the main diagonal and upper triangular values in A are non-zero. So now I'm going to talk about explicit runge cutter methods which is the other type of runge cutter method. Um, so these are more uh, a lot more common because they're a lot more straightforward to actually calculate. So explicit runge cutter methods are given the uh, shorthand ERK for short. Okay so what we're going to do with these is we're going to say if we let c1 equals 0 um, so we're always going to have c1 equals 0 that's a, that's some uh, constraint we're placing on our method and we're also going to say that aij is going to be equal to 0 where i is less than or equal to j okay so if we uh, if we write down the the, the run cutter method so the updating the updating uh, expression for y is actually the same as the implicit method. Okay, so let's say we've got a uh, let's say we've got a two. Oh, I got that wrong. Let's say we have a two-stage method, so similar to before. So b1 k1 plus b1 uh, b2 k2. So that's exactly the same as the one for the IRK method. But this time with k1. Okay, so Ordinarily, we had f of tn plus c1h. Well, c1 in this case is zero, so we just got f of tn. Um, the second, um, the second argument, or well, that was um, yn plus h times our a11 and a a12. Well, a11 and a12 will be both be zero because in this case i is one and j is one or two. So that means we just got yn. So our first stage. Uh, stage value is f of tn yn. Our second stage value, okay, that's the same as before, or similar to as before, so tn plus c2h, and we'll have yn plus h, and it was the sum of j equals 1 to s, so we'll have a21 times k1. Uh, ordinarily, we'd have a22 times k2, but because i is 2 and j is 2, um, the a22 would be 0. Okay, So that's the uh, second stage value uh, for an implicit runge cutter method, uh, sorry, explicit runge cutter method. Okay, so if we draw the butcher tableau for this, we have uh, b1 and b2 down here. Uh, c1 is 0 and we'll have some value for c2. And the only non-zero element of A is A21. So this is what the butcher tableau looks like for a two-stage runge cutter method. Okay, so for a sort of general S-stage runge cutter method, I'm just going to draw out the butcher tableau again. Okay, so we've got B1, B2. Uh, I'm going to go up to uh, BS minus 1 and BS. Okay, and our C values. Uh, so we'll have C, uh, C1 is 0, C2 and C3, all the way down to Cs. Okay, so our A values, so A11 was 0, and if I go down the first column of A, okay, when, when we get below the main diagonal, we have non-zero values for A, so there's A22, all the way down to A uh, S one Sorry, that's a two one there. Okay, if we go across to the next, uh, the next column, well, a one two would be zero, so I'm, I'm just going to uh, ignore that for now. 
Uh, A22 is also going to be zero, but A32 is non-zero. So I've got a non-zero on there, going all the way down to AS2. Okay, um, and this sort of carries on. This this behaviour carries on, and what we have is we have this sort of lower triangular. Uh, oops, just got the uh, index wrong there, so it should be AS s minus one so we have this sort of lower triangular uh, format to our a values so if i just draw a border around our a you notice there's nothing up here okay well these are actually zeros but i i haven't written them for for, for simplicity so when we're presented with a butcher tableau if it's strictly um, lower triangular we have an explicit runga cutter method and if it isn't strictly lower triangular, we know we have an implicit rung cutter method.